this this adventure we're taking the Lily Bella, the uh, McGregor 26X, and headed down the intercoastal waterway here on Florida's Panhandle. We're also bringing the Briss 8.2, which is on the front of the boat. One of their main reasons of, for doing this trip is to really figure out if I can handle a length of time more than just a couple of days on the boat. It's all right, it's okay. Chris is traveling today. Oh yeah, baby. It's all right. It's okay. Across the country. And here's what it looks like looking out front. You can see the uh, the bris definitely blocks my view. I really would like to take it down to Panama City. Panama City Beach and out in that area as well as over to um, Mobile maybe even New Orleans and see how I do um, spending a you know a, a period of time on the boat I want to try to make the boat as comfortable as possible and so that I don't get home and feel like oh my god I can't wait <laughs> can't wait to get in my own bed first day or two we're going to uh, a little more off-grid style. See what it's like to live a couple of days completely off-grid with the equipment I have. I tell you, this uh, this little two-stroke, 50-horse Nissan. It just runs super good. And uh, I'm with the old Woodward philosophy. She's running, let her run. Don't replace it unless it dies. I think I think there's still a lot of hours left on that on that engine. 1997, 50 horse, two-stroke Nissan. Cruising speed, you know, works pretty good. I'm running around uh, 4,000 RPMs and going uh, just 11 miles an hour, at nine knots, something like that. All right. It appears my uh, depth and miles per hour, temperature, time, everything accurate now. So that's good. Here's the uh, sleeping arrangement. You'll notice on my boat, I use a lot of these white canvas bags that they sell at Walmart and packages of three. I use them to hold clothes and all kinds of different stuff. I like to keep my bed permanently set up. I don't want to break it down and set it up every day. It's just a hassle. And if you're gonna stay long-term, I'm talking, you know, up to a month maybe on your boat. Definitely want to have the bed where it's comfortable and easy. Okay, over here. Ta-da! I decided to get the bigger Alpha Cool 12-volt refrigerator cooler. Now, I've got lettuce. i got enough room. I've got this milk. Now, I've used this milk. What's it called? Parmalat, something like that, because I can keep a couple of these. You don't have to refrigerate it, but I keep one cold, and then I can have a couple others. I've got eggs. There's another tomato in there, cheese, you know, all the regular stuff. And what's un what's real 
crazy about it is that it uses actually less power than the other one that was smaller. I have no idea why it pulls around 40 watts and the other one was pulling 50 watts. Maybe they made an upgrade, but it's been holding temperature just fine. And it doesn't run very, very, it's not like it's constantly running. Anyway, okay. Some bread. I had found this uh, cutting board. I put these no slip things on there. Uh oh, I got some dirty dishes in the sink. And it fit, works really well to set on top of that. And then also, it sets pretty nice on top of the induction burner. Those no skid deals, those are cool. Keep things in place. I've got them on a lot of stuff so things don't slide around. Um, I do have a pump and right now a 10 gallon uh, water reservoir. The induction burner is gonna be used a lot. Keurig, of course. It's a uh, small but functional little galley. Now I didn't show you before, this is kind of a just storage, but uh, this boat came with two 95 amp hour batteries. I updated the uh, fuse panel just to add a few things because I wanted to uh, have some, I had to add the pump for the fresh water. It also has a um, battery charger for both batteries and the engine actually keeps them plenty charged. I use it more of a backup and also I have two bilge pumps. Over here, this is where we do a lot of the planning and TV is receptions coming in. Watch some TV. Uh, the Navionics running right now. Don't need to have it on down here right now, but just uh, I was looking at where to go tomorrow. All right, we have the, of course, the bathroom back here, which you've seen in the last videos. I don't need to keep looking at that. One thing that's interesting is to keep in mind that when McGregor designed these boats, one of the most important things to him was to have a separate bathroom that had a good solid door because there's nothing worse at night than having to go to the bathroom and having someone else in the cabin with you and having a little pull out camp co that uh, isn't behind the door. The sun is going down. Better turn on my light. It is time. Still got the barbecue. Gas. That's the uh, new bridge right there. Got a hundred watts panel here and hundred watts there. Wow. This is a gorgeous night. This is uh, an island right here that we're sitting next to. The water, only you can tell, got another person that anchor, is super clear. I mean, it is just gorgeous. And it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> All right, let's go down into the, the cabin. Doo -doo. Oh, let me turn on some lights. Hang on a second.
just a, a mosquito. Got screens. Damn. I'm surprised it's December. I haven't had them all freaking summer. <laughs> all right. Check that out. Gorgeous out. Get the screens out. Well, luckily, I have a screen enclosure that zips into my Dodger, or the mosquitoes would be eating me alive. It's getting a little later in the evening, watching some YouTubes. Freaking mosquitoes attacked. So I'm gonna go out here and uh, Check on the thermocell. Turn on the light out there. So out here we got the thermocell going. I don't have any lines out right now. Just hanging out on the water. Anyway, this seems to be working. Got really attacked. Attacked big time by mosquitoes. I'm a little, I think I must be just, maybe I'm just a little too close. I'm not that close, but. It is 6 a.m. And I am making coffee. This is like the most important thing of the day. Coffee maker. Not there. Over these babies here. Let's plug in the Blue Eddy. Just like that. Turn the AC on. We are going to make coffee. This morning, ready for the day. Oh, yeah, got coffee. For some reason, it sure does make things a lot better. The morning of day two. And um, I'm realizing this morning, got a late start yesterday, that it's really important to really enjoy these trips. It's not, not to have a schedule. Like this morning, I feel like didn't have a cup of coffee. Looking at the view. Just hanging out for a little while, then I'll make breakfast, then I may travel further down the ICW um, towards civilization. <laughs> I may stick around a little while and do that in the afternoon. Wherever I anchor next time, I want to be over some grass because I really would love to try this rig and I would love to catch a redfish. According to vitamin D, I mean this is similar to what he what he was doing. I don't know if you ever watched vitamin D out of Pensacola, but very very cool dude.
and an excellent fisherman. Okay, and then what's good about vitamin D is he'll actually show you the rig. A lot of guys don't show you exactly how they got their rig set up to catch the fish that they're catching. But he does, which is really cool. Just gorgeous. Look at that water. I mean, my gosh. Such a beautiful morning. I think I'm going to cook outside. We're just going to have a couple eggs over medium. Some hash browns and some ham. Uh, nothing too fancy, but uh, just like I would do at home. One thing that's nice about about having that larger refrigerator, I can bring stuff like hash browns and have more room. It's nice to be able to cook out here because the wind is just like non-existent. Look at the water. It's just awesome. Ash browns are cranking. Look at it's just like uh, I think the temperature's got to be 68, 66 something. It's it's uh, perfect temperature. It's not hot. It's not cold. Last night sleeping last night was just didn't need any additional air. You know, flow. It was cool. A nice cool evening. I think it was in the mid 60s. It was great. Luckily, I had screens for the mosquitoes. Ready to turn these babies over. Valencia cream pan. Look at that. No stick. Things are great. All right, I think our hash browns are where we want them to be. All right, the hash browns look like they are like just the way I like them. Add a couple slices of ham. Just need to get them nice and hot. Okay, we got our hash browns and our ham about there. Oh yeah. Love those Valencia pans. Look at that no stick. Hash browns. Ham. I'll wipe that out in a second. Eggs. All right, there we go. Now that's boat breakfast right there. All right, uh, while I'm eating breakfast, I'm looking at Windy, the Windy app to see what's happening as far as our winds. And it all looks like, man, it's going to be just calm throughout this part of the, of the uh, intercoastal till Friday even. It's not that bad. I mean, the outlook over the next week is just perfect for boating. There's at least not, not for sailing, because there's no wind hardly. It's going to be like this. It's very calm, which is awesome. All right, so I have a line that's connected to the two stern handles to keep the boat from washing out. When I set it in the water, I don't want it to go in upside down. If I can maintain the, keep the stern pulled in towards the boat, then I can let the bow out, and she won't go in upside down. I think we're uh, hooked up and ready. All right, I think we're ready to go. Stern wants to bounce out. 
sweet. All right, next I'm gonna make my first attempt to get on it from the boat and use this ladder. Probably just step off. I can also get on it from the uh, stern, but uh, I'm gonna try it both ways just to see how it goes. Shouldn't be any big deal. It's a lightweight boat, she does slide around. Feels pretty good, let's put the engine on her. Luckily it is a very lightweight engine. Should we see if it starts? this island in just a minute. Four stroke, four horsepower. He's not a speed demon, I can tell you that.